my advice to them is that to the government is that look, if you really want genuine investors to come, let us first prepare. Uh, we want uh, visitors to come and, be, uh, and visit us and bring us good tidings so that when it's going, we will give you, we take good tidings from here. Then we must be prepared to come, we, we must be prepared to create that good tidings for ourselves first. So when he comes, when he's looking out of the window and looking, peeping into your house, you know that that is a beautiful house. He doesn't want to come to Islam. He's not coming to do, to repair your, your, your country for you. And that is the truth. And that's one thing the government should realize. Particularly, the, let's narrow it down to the, um, uh, to the maritime industry. All our vessels, even we go out there, you see a lot of vessels that are almost derelict. Why? They never give, they never had jobs to do anyway. The truth of it is that if I go to Europe now and I bring in a five year old vessel, which is maybe the millions of dollars, and I bring it here. And I don't get a, anything to do. I give you six months or even less. It will look, if I be a old person, it will look like a 20 year old person. Because nobody buys ships and puts it in his parlor. There's no profession as I'm a professional ship owner. There's none. The business is about carrying, using the, the vessel to do whatever. You understand? And when you don't get the jobs, you can't get the vessel. If, for example, they give me the jobs today, I will now look for the vessels that will suit the job. And I will deploy them. But not the other way around. I should go and get the, the vessels first. Then I should now go and use it to apply for a job.